Hey coin collectors, Dan the Collecting Man here. Today we have got some pretty cool things where I get to go through what were the mintages on some of the coins from the last year. So financial year 23 to 24, what were the results? They've officially released what the mintages were on some of the coins. So those were some special ones that we're looking out for and there's definitely some that will become extra valuable because we were looking for them and to see what the mitches were and they were a lot lower than some people expected. So I'm gonna go through all the different coins, uh, the key ones that people are really looking to collect. Uh, love it in the messages below what you think the values were and if you think it will change anything. So this is the document. This is the appendix uh, to the financial review for 23 and 24 from the Royal Australia Mint. What I've done is gone through this document and highlighted some of the key coins that people like to collect, including one of the mintages of the 2024 coins for, with King Charles on there, and some of the 2023 coins that we're trying to see what are the final mintages going to be is there going to be some more minted so that's the one i was specifically looking for and they're the ones that were not in there which makes me a little bit more excited to see the potential value on some of these coins so i'm really excited to go through so i'm going to leave the 2023 coins to the end but i'm going to go through some of these key coins that we all love to collect so let's start off with on the very first page here it goes through a little bit of uh some of the key volumes that they've done over the last year, so some pretty cool numbers. You can definitely see it's definitely dropping off. So 23, 24, you can see that's the lowest by a long, long way compared to some other years where it was a lot higher in the old days. So you can see the numbers are definitely dropping off when it comes to uh, circulating coins uh, purchased by the mint. So definitely getting less and less every year, which means the coins are getting rarer and rarer. As we know, less and less coins are being used in our general circulation. Uh, because people are going more cashless, which is a little bit of sad for the part for the hobby, but it means uh, there's going to be a lot more collectible coins out there. So let's go through it. So the key one to look out that I first looked is the 2023. This is the Dan Thorne uh, with King Charles. They said they were going to mint 10 million, uh, and it looks to hear that they've only currently produced uh, 6.2 million. So not the full 10 million that they were looking to produce and it's obviously not in last year's one so i've got last year's document as well and i was having a look at that to compare it to make sure it wasn't in there but it's not on there so it looks like that may be the final mintage number it's still very high uh for a one dollar coin but it just means it's a little bit uh, better than what it initially was uh nothing really stands out here apart from the nadoc week uh 50 cent coin which is these ones here uh, that was 2.3 million, which is pretty high uh, for a 50 cent coin. Uh, and all the other numbers are pretty high. So we had all these different ones in tubes. This was the $1 for 2024. And I've got the whole set here. Here's the 50 cent ones. Uh, here you got your 20 cents. So there's nothing in there that's as low as we could have hoped for. Uh, the 5 cent one, as you can see, 10 million. So there's a lot of those made uh here's the 10 cents one as well and then we've got the two dollar coin so no super low mintages but still pretty cool i think they're overall going to be pretty cool to collect uh from your perspective so i'd love to know what you think uh the rest of it is going through what they've done for some other uh, countries which is nothing that i'm really interested in and then some medallions so then we start going into what are some of the pretty cool ones so I think the first one that was a little bit of confusion for me trying to understand this document. So let's have a look at this one. This is the sil silver proof bluey coin. So this is the one that they said there was going to be a mintage of 2,650 and they only made 2,500. So that was like, okay, they've 150 short. So what I've done is look through the document and as you can see here, they've got another line item, a $1 fine silver proof bluey pnc at 150 so this one specifically says pnc which is a bit odd and i have not seen any pnc so there's 150 of them somewhere that we haven't been able to see yet which is uh very very interesting so it'd be interesting to note and then we come back onto this page as you can see where my where my little star is 
And again, we've got a $1 fine silver proof bluey coin, and it does say silver at two and a half thousand. So they've put the initial one in twice and then put 150 separate for a PNC that has not, that I'm not aware of is out there. So it'd be very interesting to know if that something coming or is that something given to people that work at Bluey or some other special thing that's been released or is that a bit of a, a error? But the fact that they've got this line item with the same codes in twice seems to me like a little bit of a mistake. Uh, next we've got the, the Bluey uh, $1 coin. So this is the one here with the, the bag. As you can see here, we've got a mintage of 1.25 million of these ones. So they're the the bluey coins so i think we knew there was a lot of them out there so nothing super rare same for the bingo uh personally i haven't seen many of the bingos out there but uh definitely got the blue i think that's one that's going to be the slightly more collectible one uh for the nrl and nrl uh w coins that's these ones here uh we've got a million mintage each of those so pretty lowish mintages with with those which is kind of what i expected i expected them to be around the million so pretty good to have those and then we got these one dollar um coins for the australian football league men's and women's premiership this is the one dollar coins uh 1.25 million for each of those that went into circulation so i think i've got a couple of those but nothing too cool uh that stands out for me here we've got the 2023 uh, Vegemite proof set, so they've made some more of those. So that's not the final, but that says they've made 3,000 extra in this financial year. Uh, same as the baby set, though. So they'll add on to last year's numbers, um, as you can imagine. And then we've got the $2 Paralympic uh, coin. So this is the, the colored coin. So that's this one here that we saw in the carded version as you can see here uh, it's a nice low mintage here they've got a mintage of 50,000 so uh, they've obviously gone just a little bit shy of that one when it comes to that one uh, then we had here another collectible one is the 35th anniversary of the $2 which is this set here 35,000 is what they said and 35,000 is what they did uh, a very very good collectible set I think for that one so Good mintage there uh, and then we've got a couple of others like the silver investment uh, lunar dragon so that's a pretty good one uh, they said they're gonna make 50 and they've only done 41 so we're still in the lunar year so they may have some more coming in next year so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with and on the next page we've got some other cool ones here so we've got the the lunar year dragon so this is the one dollar uh, they made more, so which was interesting. Most of the stuff they made less, but this one they made more, uh, where they made thir nearly 35,000, where they said they're gonna make 30. So they went way over. This is the two $1 ones that came out. Uh, pretty cool set, but having that high mintage makes it a little bit less collectible. There's the bluey one that I spoke about. The bluey three coin set. Now this one was a little bit confusing to understand if I have to be honest. So they said here it's got 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, and then 25,555. So I'm guessing it was meant to be combined with all these, but it looks, if you add five plus five plus five plus 25, is a lot more than 30,000. So it's a little bit con confusing how they've done that, but that's for the this uh, bluey set here with the colored $1 coin. So super collectible uh, set to get. Uh, here and as you can see here it does have here a mintage of 30,000 so that's the, the three coins here that people really want to collect pretty cool uh, love to know if you are able to get one or not but having a look at that so it does have here that there's 25,000 sets but then it's got five of each of those ones so obviously that equals the 30,000 then we've got the the King Charles proof set. So that's this one over here that we, we know now, 25,000 of the proof set. So that's a pretty high mintage for a proof set. So that's never gonna hold real big value because it is pretty high. And then we've got the change of monarchs, which is uh, this one here that I've got down here. This is the, the change of monarchs. And you'll notice that it is a lot lower than expected. So they said they're gonna make 
a hundred thousand of these and they only made 77 thousand of the change of monarch so it makes it a little bit lower mintage but it's still pretty high from that collecting aspect as you can imagine there's all the different bluey coins so these are the ones with the the envelope privy mark that they made on the card so only seven thousand and two hundred and twenty five so when it's going to be unlimited that is very very low so that is going to make these coins very very collectible so only 7250 so if you got these blueies with the envelope pnc you've done pretty well with those as well and then we've got the uncirculated 10 collection um that that's that full set they've got 157 thousand so that's the the coin set that you can get with all the coins in it so 157 thousand that's a lot of them uh but that's means that's all there is of each of those different 10 bluey coins so pretty cool but that's uh that sold out pretty quickly um and i don't think they're going to be making any more of those uh then you've got all these other investment kind of coins that they've kind of stuck to their mintage numbers some are a little bit lower but not much lower there so nothing unique to see then we go into some of the other ones we've got a lot of um so we've got the 50 cent uh festival florals that's the pnc for christmas last year uh then we go through all these footy ones uh which to be honest i'm not really interested in they, there's a lot of one dollar coins from last year so nothing really exciting there very high one for the the 12 coin set that's the kit sets that people can get out of the Australian post uh, 135,000 uh, for those ones and then we've got the one dollar Paralympic one so they've both come up quite a bit lower on these ones so this one here yeah they said they're going to do 25 and they've only done 12 and the Australian team 15 so they've only done half so not sure if we're going to see the other half in next year's one or if that's what the final mintage was so a lot lower than expected and then we go on to the next page so you've got the frosted uncirculated nadoc uh, again a little bit lower than expected so 50,000 they've only done 42 and a half thousand of those so it's a little bit lower uh, still a high number for a one of those kind of coins so it's not going to make it super super collectible but it's still pretty cool to have uh and then we've got the uncirculated uh king charles set which is this one here uh as you can see there 91,000. they still could potentially make more of those uh so that may not be the final number uh because we still are kind of in 2024 but i have a guess that i don't think they're going to be make many more of those we also see this is the the nadoc uh swap satchels which is the one that i've got here uh they made eight thousand of those ones to get your money's worth and then we've got the two dollar colored coins for the paris olympics so that's these ones there at one and a half million each for those so we've got the paralympic one uh and each of the australian different ones there at one and a half million so slightly higher than i probably expected on those ones but uh still a pretty good reasonable number for those circulated colored coins and that is the document so they're the key ones that we've got there now i'm going to go to the special one which is where i think the value really is and this is the 2023 so having a look at this number and i brought out last year's document um this was the six coin uncirculated set from creatures in the deep which is where you, you got this little cute little lunchbox uh and you got uh, your little coins that came in this little satchel like this and then you had these coins now these are i'm going to go through why they're specifically different to any other coin that you could collect and i think they are going to have a lot of value you can already see some of the values here that i've got of these coins so the key thing is here on the obverse you've got queen elizabeth here but you've got the years of memorial reign now no circulated coins were ever really made with queen elizabeth with the memorial years of reign so that's what makes it extra collectible so if you have a look at this is the vegemite set that when you go on ebay and looking for the 2023 coins you're going to find these and that's the thing that you're going to maybe get tricked by so be extra careful so this is obviously we've both got 2023 coins here but when we look on this side you're going to see here you've got queen elizabeth if i can get it up here without the shine 
So you just Queen Elizabeth 2023, there's no years of memorial reign, where this one has the years of reign at the top. That's what makes this extra collectible. There's a lot less of these around. There's only, looks to be 7,125. So currently the $2 coin with the memorial years of reign is around $99, but I think with this news, they're gonna go up a lot. So we've got, this is the five cent one here. So just think only 7,000 of these made. You can see the condition of this one. It's absolutely spot on. Uh, roughly around $25 for this one right now. Uh, then you've got the, we'll go into the 10 cent one here. I made sure I kept them pretty in good condition here. So this is the 10 cent one. You're looking around $29 for that one at this point of time. I'd love to know what you think these are going to go up in value with. Here is the 20 cent. You're looking around $37 uh, for this one. But like I said, I think this is going to go up tremendously. Uh, the 50 cent one here, you're looking at $45 for this one here. So uh, kept it in pretty good condition. Happy with that one. And then this one was the one that you couldn't really get a special one. So... This is just the Creatures of the Deep, so that was, you aren't getting uh, a little bit for that one. It's not worth as much, but definitely those other ones are very, very collectible, and I was kind of expecting to see some of those in this year's document to see if there's more, but they're not. So it looks like those 2024, because the only other way you can get them uh, was in this set. Uh, that's the only way you can get the coins was in a set, so you'd have to break out of the set to sell it so you, the only uncirculated versions was these ones so if you got one of these lunch kits and you got some of those coins uh, and it came with this little yogurt satchel as well uh, if you've got it make sure you look after it because i think you're going to have yourself a good little bit of value there i'm potentially thinking now that i've seen these numbers that i may send them off to be graded just to keep keep looking after it because people like to do year dates of the coins and people want to go and get every year and to get 2023 the circulated version so these are obviously uncirculated versions so if you want to get the circulated version which is these ones here it's going to be very 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 hard to get to add to your set so let me know what you think make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this content and you like the information that i'm providing for you and let me know if you've seen anything else that i've missed in the numbers uh, that you can point out for other collectors. I love it when people share their information. I think it's really, really helpful. And if you're not yet subscribed to Dan the Collecting Man, I've got some fantastic news for the channel. I've got approval to do an interview with someone from the Royal Australia Mint. So I'm going there in a couple of weeks and I'd love it if you can put down in the messages below some of the questions that I can ask the Mint. Obviously being respectful, I, I wanna make sure I'm treat the Royal Mint with some respect. They're being kind enough to do an interview with me, so I'm not gonna ask any questions that I feel like is rude, but I just want some good questions that I can ask the Royal Mint about the future and about some of the, the coins and about the hype of some of these cool things. And I'm definitely gonna be asking about this Memorial Years of Rain uh, to find out a little bit more about those coins. And as always, thanks so much for watching and joining the coin collecting community. I'll catch you in my next video. Dan.